Hi everyone, I just want to show you um, a quick little video on a, on a love book that I created for Valentine's Day um, using chipboard for my front and back covers and envelopes throughout the album as my pages. On the front cover I chose to cover it up with uh, the Parisian Anthology line by Pink Paisley and I used some Tim Holtz Distress inks on it to change to kind of alter the colors of it and give it that vintage distress look. Um, I used the faded denim and the frayed burlap along the edges. Um, and this is just a little key by Tattered Angels that I alcohol inked and tied a little white bow through and uh, glued it down on the cover. And here I just used some corrugated cardboard uh, to kind of give my love a 3D pop out look. Um, and as you open it up, the inside cover, I just wrapped this piece of vintage lace around the front and the back covers and I hot glued it down to hold it in place and I just used a crop a dial to repunch my holes back through the lace and then over here is just a little pocket I made using Kane Company paper and it's just a little pocket so that my card will slip in and out I just did some little bling up in the corners up here and on my first envelope all the most of the papers that I covered the envelopes with are um, creative imagination paper line and um, again, I just distressed them out along the edges with the frayed burlap, just Tim Holtz Distress Ink to give it, again, that, that distressed feel. And uh, over here is just a Tim Holtz ticket that I used the uh, faded de denim Distress Ink on. And a little Prima flower that I glued down. Here's just a little brad, um, blingy brad that I put on and I hung a little charm from. And when you open it up, this is just a um, piece of a page from a book that I that I tore out and I just distressed it a little bit and stuck it down on there and inside my envelope is a little card and I used a Tim Holtz mask back here uh, with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink again with the frayed burlap and uh, I glimmer misted over it. I don't know if you can see the glimmer on it over the top of it all when I was done. And on the back side of my envelope, I have a picture that I did, turned black and white so, and put the uh, black and white photo corners on to kind of give it, again, that, that antique look to it. Um, and my next envelope has just a little Prima flower on it that I layered, and I put another Brad Bling through it, and just I hung a little uh, heart shape. Let's see if I can get it open for you. A little heart shape locket from it. And another Tim Holtz ticket stub that I ran the Distress Ink on and some little bling. And this card has a, another Tim Holtz mask that I did using the frayed burlap and the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And on the back side I did another black and white picture with the photo corners. And this one as well, I did just a little piece of chipboard uh, chipboard star that I inked with a stamp pad and ran the distress, distress ink around the edges of it. And another Tim Holtz ticket. And I did a little um, Tim Holtz metal charm embellishment that I just stuck a little heart brad through um, to hold it in place. And on the back side of this card is another uh, Tim Holtz uh, mask that I used, again with the frayed burlap and the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And some more pictures on the back side with the black and white, with the black and white pictures in the black photo corners. And on this envelope I just ran a piece of vintage lace around the front and the back side of the envelope. Um, and I glued a little piece of bling up here and just hot glued some some more of that vintage lace around it because uh, I just kind of like that look. And here's this is just a little dewdrop with a little bird stuck underneath it and a little another Tim Holtz uh, ticket. And the back side of this card has a Heidi Swap mask that I used again with the Distress Ink and the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Some more pictures on the back side of that envelope. And this envelope is actually the Pink Paisley uh, Parisian Anthology line as well. Um, and I just distressed it out with the faded, faded denim and the frayed burlap again to kind of make it match the 
uh, Creative Imaginations paper. Um, and here's another Tim Holtz ticket and a little heart bling that I did, glued it on there, and another piece of bling up on the envelope. And on the back side of this one, I just used a love stamp that I, I uh, dipped into the Distress Ink and uh, sprayed with the Tattered Angels as well. And this book is really is kind of my idea of all the reasons why I love you Valentine's book and the back cover is uh, again the Parisian anthology paper that I distressed out with the uh, frayed burlap distress ink and again I wrapped the vintage lace around the front and the back cover um, so it would match the front cover and this is also the Parisian anthology paper on the back cover that I I did the inking as well on and through the loops um, in the kit that I have available for sale if you like this and you want to do it you'll get the rings so if you don't want to use jute you can use the rings I also include the jute in the kit um, but I chose to use the jute as I wanted to have a little bit of a uh, more of a masculine feel to it and I just tied some vintage lace around the jute and I hung these little charms little dice and a little motorcycle um, from it because I'm gonna actually give this to my other half for Valentine's Day and those are just some of the things that he kind of likes so if you like this and you'd like to make one yourself I do have a few kits that I did put together and it has everything in it that you'll need this is everything that you're gonna get um, you'll get some stamps and your little bag of tickets and bling and your Tim Holtz distress ink and um, instructions full instructions with some pictures of this album just to kind of give you some creative imagination or inspiration uh, you don't have to do it exactly like I did it you can do it of course any way you want just like I said it's just to give you a little bit of inspiration um, and there's an old some book pages in there that you can tear apart and distress out and some tool um, and this kit is uh, $50 and I will sell it online on my Etsy store um, it's called the Enchanted Scrapper so if you're interested, uh, stop by and check it out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.